Hey, Saz here, and we're doing another club review of the USTA National Campus in Orlando. Today we're going to cover four categories, location, courts, cost, and amenities. So let's talk a little bit about the location, Julian. Location, it's in the heart of Lake Nona, right outside Orlando. I mean, the address, you can Google it, it's 1000 USTA Boulevard in Orlando, Florida. Uh, the place is an outstanding place. They have over 100 paddle courts. I don't know how many pickleball courts. That's a courts. lot of paddle courts, man. I'm sorry, <laughs> tennis courts. <laughs> I wish they had 100 paddle courts. You know, I think they have 100 tennis courts. And imagine with, paddle courts. That would be amazing, imagine right? Imagine three guys. So they have 100 tennis courts. But sadly, only four paddle courts. Yeah, yeah. But the cool thing, it's in Lake Nona. I mean, that's an up and coming place. Yeah. I mean, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, meaning like before or after your game, there's a lot of restaurants, a lot of shops. Really cool place to be, you know. Um, yeah. So uh, in, in that respect, I mean, it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, they have like a, like a little Lake Nona downtown there. Uh, it's, it's like a little Winwood. Yeah, it's looking like a mini Winwood, yeah, but yeah. Uh, it, it's pretty chill, mellow. I mean, but it's it's. Uh, I mean, the USA National Camp is absolutely huge. I mean, uh, incredible. I mean, it's monstrous. It's a monstrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the courts. What, what type of courts do they have there, Jillian? They have uh, four Adidas uh, courts. Uh, they're monofilament. Uh, they're pretty decent. I mean, we I got to play in it. You you got to play in it. Yeah. What, what was your I mean, they're good. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, there's, I mean, I can't, I mean, every core, like I said, is a little bit different. So it's not like it's bad or good. It's just a matter of the speed a little bit. Yeah. You know, something's a little slower on the back wall. Something's a little yeah. bit faster. You can always adjust that with the balls. You know, you are going to get, you know, I'm not going to state the club, but you're going to get some clubs that may have really terrible, you know, turf, you yeah. know, and shrinking there in the corners or like the tapes coming off. And then that 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 gives you an issue when it comes to the court. But you typically all courts are pretty good. Um, you know, it's just a matter of adjusting. You know, yeah, so. well, one of the things when I was playing there, it really it was kind of bothersome. Uh, the 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 USA National Campus is right next to the airport. Okay. So sometimes during the day, the the, the actual planes they yes. fly right on top of you, and yes. they're very very close yes. because they're just landing there. And you're playing and you see this huge plane coming on yeah. top of you and the noise and all that. That was kind of sort of, you know, bothersome and all that. What do you, did you Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that happens. I mean, it's pretty neat the first time. You're like, wow, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but, you know, then it is interrupting your game. Yeah. Like you don't know whether to play or wait. Yeah. You know, you end up waiting a little bit, but it's taking so long that halfway through, you're just like, let me just play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's very, it gets very, very loud. When yeah, you yeah. so I'm assuming the people there are used to that and they just play through it. But if you haven't, you know, you're going to probably hesitate and be like, uh, what do I do? Do I wait? <laughs> do I not? I mean, it's, but it takes too long, so you just go ahead and play, yeah. you know? Uh, all right, so let's talk a little bit about the cost. Everybody wants to know the cost. And, uh, and I think this is a non-members, so because it is a non-profit, and why don't you talk to us about the cost, Julian? I think they're one of the cheapest court in the entire country. It is. <laughs> Without a much. doubt. I mean, $60 per hour. Yeah, $60 that per divided by four. Incredible. Yes. That is incredible. Yes. You yes. know, I mean, you're looking at $90 for an hour and a half. I mean, come on. Where, yeah. where, where are you going to get that? I yeah. mean, I, nowhere. No. I, 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 we should have more nonprofit clubs down here. I got to <laughs> tell you. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. so that's, that's a really great benefit there. I mean, it's, it's a really nice place and, and, and the courts are very reasonable. You know, I hope they put, put up more courts. Yeah, you know, that'd be great. They have tennis courts and they also have, um, uh, a pickle courts there, but I'm hoping four courts is good, but I think, you know, I think as, as, uh, you know, when it starts, uh, building, you know, that, that their, 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 their paddle group. You yeah. know, hopefully they'll, they'll put up a couple more. I mean, in paddle is sort of like the the orphan child of the whole facility. <laughs> I mean, they have 100 tennis courts. Probably they have, what, 20, 30 pickable uh, courts. I think it's like the cool, the cool like, you know, uh, redheaded stepchild. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. he's, a, he's a badass and he's cool. <laughs> Nobody wants to deal with him, but people kind of like him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, I think that's paddle, man. I mean, they have <laughs> tennis stadiums galore. I mean, they have the stadiums for, you know, university playing for, you know, for everything, you name it. The same thing with pickable courts. I mean, last time I was there, they were they were having like a huge, they were two oh, no. um, uh, collegiate uh, tennis tournament and, and pickable tournament. That place was like bustling with people yeah. playing all different racket sports. And paddle, it's only four courts, but hopefully, 
I mean, I think 2024 is going to be a huge year for paddle here in the I United think so. States. I, I mean, think so. I think the same thing you saw there. That's what I saw at, at there when I was there, you know, big tournament for pickle. But I think you're going to start seeing that transition over to paddle. Yeah. You know? But I mean, around the country, I mean, there, there are some big, big projects coming up everywhere. I mean, um, you know, in the Northeast, the Midwest, I mean, the West Coast, uh, here in South Florida. Uh, soon they're going to be opening clubs here, more clubs here in Miami. I mean, it's going to be brutal, brutal. I mean, I mean, brutal in the good sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's talk about amenities because um, that's also important, too. You yeah. Know? So they have showers there, which is really great. Um, you know, they have a pro shop. You know, really big, nice pro a beautiful shop. Beautiful pro Yeah, 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 yeah. And then very small section of paddle, but yeah, you know, beautiful pro shop. Yes, they I got mean. the sneakers there, a yes. nice variety of, of, of tennis and paddle sneakers there. Uh yeah. they got paddles there, they got you know, uh uh apparel there. I mean, they restring the rackets there. I mean, it's uh it's pretty nice, yeah. you know. Uh, what else do they have there? They have a cafeteria style of, uh, sort of like a restaurant type of thing. What I was amazed there, it's I was very surprised for the good quality of food they serve there yeah and when i asked them they said because they have such a high performance uh professionals coming to the place to train especially for tennis mm -hmm. with 100 courts and it's the national campus mm -hmm. uh they try to focus on nutrition and and good healthy quality food so i was very very impressed with that so was i yeah i, I ate there you know a couple yeah. times yeah know, and the coffee is good there yeah too. the coffee was good there too <laughs> which i can't i can't believe it. in some of these clubs the coffee sucks you know yeah. what i'm saying but the coffee was really good there so that's yeah. great okay product affiliation i mean what are they um affiliated with well i mean the biggest uh about tennis paddle brand here in the United States. We know it's Wilson. Wilson is the, the you know, the, the giant, the transformer of, of tennis, all racket sports pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. And you see Wilson everywhere. So Wilson is there. They have other, other you know, companies as well. But yeah. Wilson, I think, is, is their biggest, biggest sponsor. Yeah. Biggest one. Okay. So uh, if you wanted to get lessons, uh, who would they call? Well, they have the number one paddle player in the nation currently luis nation wow in the nation yeah that's yeah. right 2023 yeah luisito yeah, yeah. <laughs> luisito exterminator extrada he's kicking everyone's butt with his uh with nico gritelli in every yeah. tournament they play they have the incredible diego leal and they we know we all know the world famous and legend marcos del pilar the godfather of paddle yeah he's a director there yeah you know so uh and if you're lucky you can get a lesson from him yeah because you know he's pretty busy there yeah okay so how would i get started if i just moved into orlando if i just or if i lived there and i wanted to play paddle how do i get started well, they have an app. Uh, what's the name of the app? I don't even know. Uh, the app is called the Court Reserve app. Okay. And uh, you can download it that in, in um, uh, for Apple or yeah. Android. And I think that's your best, best bet, you know, to kind of register there. I think there you're going to be able to, uh, uh, what do you call, reserve courts. You're going to be able to get lessons, clinics. Um, you get all the information there. I mean, you can obviously stop by and talk to somebody about there, but... The best thing is, is doing that. And of course they have, you know, once you do a lesson or clinics, you know, the, the coach will kind of put you into, you know, kind of level you up and put you into the right WhatsApp group. And then you can, you know, pick up games and yeah. and so forth. So, uh, and Diego is the one who's there maybe pretty much full time, always coaching and yes. organizing tournaments and all that. Luis with his traveling and all that, he's on and off. And same thing with Marcos, you know. If you if you if you're lucky and you're there, you and you see Marcos uh, get a selfie at least because he might <laughs> run away to do something else uh, uh, pa paddle related. So you know? so Diego Leal is the one to you Diego know, is the one who's to reach out to really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah. All right guys, thanks for joining us at another club review, and we'll catch you on the court. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and join us for all things paddle. We are all things paddle.